Hello, 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 Equilibrium community. I'm honored to be a host for today's event where we have the pleasure of having our CEO Alex as our guest. Our soon to be launched EQ Bless Liquidity Mining uh, campaign has been a hot topic among our community members. And we are here to actually discuss all things EQ Blast. So uh, we actually received many questions from you guys and Alex will help us answer them. Uh, he will share his expertise and no. Oh, someone's, someone's messaging that you cannot hear me. <laughs> How come? Do you guys hear me? Please, um, please write in chat. Do you hear me? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, you guys hear me. Alex, I guess, I guess something's wrong with your, with your receiver. You good? Please, please, please <laughs> let me know. All right, so um, I guess now that we're having um, some slight technical issues, um, let's let's meet each other in chat. Please, please make some noise in chat here and let us know how long have you been with us and what you expect from from today's session. Hi, guys. How are you? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Hi. Happy to have you with us. Hi. Uh, yes. Sorry for it's being right. late, actually. I was experiencing some te te technical issues. Um, anyways, right. uh, happy to be here. Uh, and, uh, wow, we have uh, 14 people joining us. Yeah, there will be, there will uh, be more. There will be a lot of fun. Yeah, so um, before we dive in, uh, I wanted to thank you guys uh, for taking the time to, to join us today. And your presence and engagement is actually what makes the Equilibrium community so special. And we're all here to learn and grow together. And we hope that this event will be a valuable and informative experience for everyone. Uh, my fellow community member, uh, managers, sorry, uh, Max and Amber and Daisy uh, will be assisting here in chat. So if you have any additional questions or comments or concerns, please share them with us. And please note that today we're only covering EQ Blast. Uh, all questions regarding Jinchiro, listing and other things will be answered during our monthly con call next week. So without further ado, welcome our CEO Alex to the stage and let's get started with our EQ Blast AMA session. Welcome, Alex. Say hello to everyone. Could you walk us through what EQ Blast really is, and uh, we will then move uh, move to the questions. Sure, absolutely. So first of all, uh, thank you very much, guys, for joining us today. And uh, this is a very exciting opportunity to tell you more about. Uh... I guess we lost him again funds into a uh, lending pool uh, where you can get additional 10% uh, on top of your regular interest that you will be receiving from, uh, from, uh, from borrowers. Um, you will get 10% uh, uh, from respective uh, uh, kind of allocation in terms of the Cube Blast campaign. And the fourth pool that we're supporting is stable swap pool. Um, as you guys know, we're also running our own decentralized stablecoin, which is called EQD, back to dollar, backed by digital uh, asset collateral. Uh, so this EQD stablecoin uh, will have respective stable swap pool on our platform, where you can swap this EQD liquidity for either USDT or USDC. So if you uh, generate uh, EQD uh, on, uh, on equilibrium, and then you transfer your EQD into the stable swap pool, uh, like either the pool with USDC or the pool with USDT, you will get additional 10% APR. So to sum this up, we are supporting four main pools with um, basic APR rewards, uh, varying from 10% to 15%. And uh, actually this taking this, uh, this uh, rewards can be stacked. So basically, if you are um, 
if you let's say staking in uh, the liquid dot staking pool receiving 12 percent on your uh eq on your dots additionally to a uh, regular uh apr that you get just for regular staking of dots uh on polka dots so respectively it's like roughly four like let's say 13 percent plus 12 percent which you get through the eq blast campaign so in total it's 25 and then let's say you're taking this eq dot and against your eq dot collateral uh you minting EQD stablecoin and then the CQD stablecoin being deposited to the stable swap pool, then you will get additional 10%. So it's like, uh, let's say, let's assume that you are uh, actually staking with, uh, let's say, 250% uh, consolidation. So then uh, you can expect like additional 5% um, uh, APR on your, like, Roughly speaking, on your on your stake, so it's like twenty five plus five, uh, thirty percent. Uh, so then you receive your LP tokens from the stable swap pool, and you actually can addition additionally to that stake LP tokens insurance pool and get another fifteen percent. So it's like uh, sums up up to uh, forty forty five percent APR almost. So this is this is how this works. Uh, so again. I think you got the idea. So you have multiple um, multiple pools where you can um, basically transfer your funds to, deposit your funds, and where you can get like this basic APR. And if you are doing some additional um, actions, uh, this APR will be stacked. So it will be like some 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 uh, up, and you will get addition like eventually uh, more rewards in terms of the um, EQ blast uh, campaign. But it's it's not uh, the only thing that I was wanted also to highlight here. So besides these regular rewards, we have uh, 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 literally two different multipliers that can you can be applied on your APR that you get in the regular way through staking your uh, funds into liquidity pools of equilibrium. So these multi these multipliers are actually applied based on your additional actions on this in the system uh, or uh, based on your status, uh, respectively, like in in relation of equilibrium. So the first multiplier is uh, one point five percent. So you literally can um, multiply your APR by one point five times. Uh, so to to do that, you need to just be the uh, member of the equilibrium community. So meaning that you uh subscribe to our, our social channels you are the part of our discord channel following us on twitter and um, subscribe to our telegram uh news feed um and also we know your polka dot address so you need to um to fill out the respective uh application form that you can find uh, in one of our announcements i uh, i will ask uh, mary to drop uh, the link to this form into the chat so you guys have it with you. So, like, you need to be our uh, our community member and on top of that, fill out the application form and then you'll be eligible for 1.5 um, times uh, multiplier for in terms of the QBlast campaign. So, like, let's say if you performed all the actions that I described um, before, like, respectively, deposited dots in the liquid dot staking, uh, minted EQD, deposited the stable swap, and then uh, deposited the insurance pool, and then you also become kind of uh, the member of the EQD, EQD equilibrium community, so then you will be eligible for 1.5% multiplier, so which brings your APR to 1.5 times um, um, your 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 initial APR, which was 45% uh, of the calculated, right? So it will bring your uh, eventual APR to 67.5%, which is like really, really, really high rewards. So this is like one way of multiplying your, your rewards uh, within the BLAST campaign. So another one is uh, EQ staking. So we know, I know that uh, there should be uh, quite a few um, EQ, EQ token holders uh, among our today's listeners. 
And uh, if you guys uh, hold any P tokens, you can also maximize your rewards by staking your P tokens. Uh, so rewards will be calculated. Uh, the, this multiplier basically will be uh, defined based on how many Q tokens you you are staking into into the system. Uh, so um, the multiplier will be actually applied on uh, that uh, parts of liquidity which is covered with uh, with your Q token stake. So let's say if you were staking, I don't know, thousand uh, dollars worth stable coins in one of the pools and uh, uh, you, on top of that, deposited EQ tokens in amounts of, let's say, hundred dollars. Then uh, the multiplier for EQ staking will be applied in hundred dollars of uh, your initial liquidity in stable points. Um, so the maximum, like the 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 actual uh, multiplier, will be defined um, through uh, the period that you are um, actually staking your EQ tokens for. Uh, so you can choose between uh, like one month up to 24 months of EQ lock. So the maximum period of 24 months will give you the multiplier of 3.4 times, which is like really high multiplier, right? So meaning that uh, uh, you can basically boost up your rewards quite significantly. So this is what we have on the table. Uh, so again, just to sum up, uh, four liquidity pools that we're supporting, giving you the basic APR. All APR can be stacked if you're doing um, certain actions in uh, in parallel. Um, and then um, on top of that, you can get multipliers uh, on your APR. The first one is uh, going to all the community members, and uh, you you guys can expect 1.5 percent. Um, uh, 1.5 times multiplier on your regular APR in terms of the EQ Blast campaign. So for that, you you need to join our um, our community, um, respectively, join our Discord uh, channels uh, and uh, follow us on Twitter and fill out the application form, uh, which you can find uh, within our uh, latest announcements. So if you do this. Um, sequence of, uh, of actions, so then you, you will be eligible for this 1.5% multiplier. And uh, another way of uh, maximizing your yield uh, in terms of our EQ Blast campaign is uh, lock EQ tokens, and the longer a lock up on EQ tokens uh, you choose, um, the higher multiplier you get. So the maximum one is 3.4 times multiplier uh, for the lock of 24 uh, months. Okay, so that's that's uh, I guess all everything that I wanted to um, to communicate here. Uh, so Mary, can you hear? Can you hear us? Can you hear me? Okay, okay. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. We're good. And actually, thank you so much for uh, summarizing everything because we had some. Um, technical issues i don't know whether it's connectivity or wrong buttons or i don't know mercury somewhere um so yeah the guys couldn't hear the very first part of your presentation but the summarizing helped a lot so thank you for that are we guys ready to move to the actual questions that you submitted that please okay i see ron's typing Oh, I guess, yeah, yeah, they is typing. Okay, we're good. Okay, so the first question, uh, will the EQ listing take place before or after the EQ blast? Uh, will we be able to use EQ immediately to get a profit to reduce pressure on the order book during the listing? Um, so regarding EQ listing, so right now we are... Uh... Um, actually, uh, um, we have finalized uh, the list of exchanges uh, where EQ is going to be listed. Uh, so these exchanges will be top tier exchanges uh, from the markets. Uh, so we are finalizing our agreements with uh, um, some of them. Uh, and once we uh, um, actually have the full picture of uh, our uh, listing, listing plans understands uh, that we have 
like the arrangements with all the venues, uh, then we, we proceed with uh, the actual listings. So hopefully it will take us another um, probably a week, uh, week or so. Uh, and uh, then uh, we are planning for the, for the queue launch. So we will we'll obviously be um, in touch with our community, announcing uh, yeah. our practical steps uh, in terms of listing. So you, you you definitely won't won't miss it uh, if you are following our um, our our announcements. Um, so as you can understand, like the 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 Cubeless campaign is kicking off uh, early next week, uh, and. Uh, Given that it will take us another like week or so finalizing um, like terms with uh, some of the exchanges uh, whom we're in touch with, um, so ex we expect that listing will happen slightly later than the campaign will kick off. Uh, so just uh, for you guys' understanding, EQ tokens uh, that you are receiving as rewards won't be um, uh, won't be. Uh, available for you guys right away, uh, so meaning that there will be a certain vesting schedules applied for for on EQ tokens. Uh, so right now we are uh, kind of um, working out uh, the vesting mechanics on the technical side, and uh, yeah, so I guess uh, there will be like some certain cliffs. Uh, so definitely, you won't you won't get your like rewards right away, which uh, helps us to reduce slightly the um, sell pressure on our tokens when they will be just launched on the market. Um, however, like I guess the market will sustain before um, before you get your first batch of rewards in hands, and uh, you you actually will be able to um, you know figure out what exactly you are planning to do with these rewards, so either you know sell to the markets, which you know, probably makes sense. But uh, um, if I were you, I actually would consider some other options. Uh, so, for example, if you are staking EQ, it will potentially might give you way more uh, benefits rather than just, you know, selling it. Um, and that's that's actually coming from our our mechanics that we introduced, right? So the, the EQ staking, as you can see, can be really, really profitable uh, depending on obviously like lockup periods that you're choosing for, for staking. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully this addresses this question. Thank you. And actually, you know, I had a little heart attack when you mentioned, you know, us being ready to list in a week or a week and a half or, or something else, because we've learned it the hard way. That's... No, I mean, <laughs> no, I know. Exactly. So, so, no, no, no. Obviously we are not committing to like listing in, in, in a week because like it, it's, Primarily uh, depending on the capacity of our partners, yeah, right? Absolutely. So if, uh, obviously they have they have the pipeline, and um, our goal is to launch in several venues simultaneously, right? So like um, get them all together and get our plans aligned because like usually it works better in terms of like you know listing strategy and stuff. Uh, so obviously, it will take us some some time to um, get this aligned and to have all these venues in one row uh, to to to, to mm -hmm. launch, you know, trading of, of the EQ token. So please stay tuned. Um, I, I just uh, I just mentioned that uh, it, it will take us uh, like another week, I guess, to finalize the list of venues. Um, but yeah, so in general speaking, like this is this is how it works. Yeah, and guys, just like I mentioned in my uh, last update regarding the listing, uh, we'll keep you posted. And yeah, I guess next time I won't post anything because uh, we will hopefully have something uh, something new for you during the community call, which will be next week. So stay tuned for that. Uh, so uh, we are moving to the next question. And um, it ties perfectly um, with the um, pressure that you mentioned earlier. Uh, what measurements will you take if this event, uh, EQ Blast, uh, does not receive the necessary support from the community and investors and attracts less liquidity than you planned, as happened with Shinshiro a year ago? Um, so we have arrangements with institutional liquidity providers, and um, um, actually, in some parts, this uh, 
this event or this campaign is uh, targeting them as well, right? So it will actually help them to make uh, their decision e decisions easier. So we are not relying solely on retail uh, investors or retail liquidity providers who might potentially um, uh, join the campaign, but um, uh, also the the institutional ones, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, with some of them, we have very practical and particular arrangements. So it's not something that we are kind of uh, some some probability of success that we are relying on. So no, this is this is not working like that. Um, but uh, yeah, so we we will look actually how things will work out. So recently, we have seen um, not that much activity in the dot summer ecosystem overall, uh, but uh, hopefully things will will improve and we will see. Uh, quite active participation from the side of our community. Specifically, um, keeping in mind that we have uh, quite interesting and attractive rewards prepared for you guys um, in terms of our uh, EQ Blast campaign. Yeah, guys, you don't want to miss them. And I guess this also covers the question from the chat. Are you negotiating with large investors to um, provide a large amount of liquidity in EQ Blast? So I think we covered that. Uh, and we're ready to yes, I think so. yeah, yeah, we're ready to move on. This one's good. Uh, if technical errors occur during the event that lead to a partial loss of user funds or potential profit loss, how will such issues be resolved? Um, so firstly, I would say that uh, we are very committed to further protocol success. Uh, we have come to this point. Uh, quite prepared uh, so we definitely like worked out everything from the code perspective obviously we we like as anyone on the market cannot guarantee like 100% uh, like resilience but uh, uh, we have uh, actually taken all the necessary measures to um, to 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 make the codes um, uh, quite reliable and um, you know, making sure that everything will work uh, pretty well uh, without like uh, risks of um, potential loss losses. I would say. So um, I would say that uh, like which particular measures do you might you might ask? So firstly, like it's uh, the excessive coverage of uh, all the code base with uh, with uh, tests. Uh, secondly. Uh, Audits. Uh, we have done one with uh, with one step back in the days, and uh, also we have uh, undergone the code review by parity. So this is like things that minimize the probability of any type of this kind of technical risks. Um, so if something goes wrong, um, firstly we have our treasury, right? So we definitely like. Because we are committed to, uh, to 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 make uh, the lives of our users easier, we definitely will find a way how to compensate any kind of mm -hmm. um, you know losses or stuff by leveraging our our treasury. Um, yeah, so I ha I think this is uh, how actually almost all the like serious and conscious uh, DeFi projects act. So if you remember, let's say issues with MakerDAO uh, a few years ago, um, oh, yeah. uh, which I always refer to when it comes to like some, you know, significant events uh, on the markets, which uh, actually mm, exposed user funds to some, you know, losses. Uh, they have uh, basically taken measures with um, uh, issuing um, MKR tokens and uh, distributing across uh, the community and investors to buy them out and uh, actually cover uh, their liquidity breach. So for, for us, actually, we are um, we're obviously like um, committed to this type of approach, and uh, I'm sure that we'll find a way how to uh, um, overcome these problems. Okay, and I have a similar question. Uh, if a hack attack occurs during the event, uh, what will we do and how well protected is our code from various vulnerabilities? So we've covered, you know, technical stuff, and if a hack attack occurs, what we're gonna do, and how well protected uh, we are. I think, I think, I think this, I think this is similar to the, the, you know, I guess technical errors or something that we have 
Oh yeah. Considered in the previous question. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think I think that we're pretty much covered for this stuff. All right. Uh, let's move on. Um, uh, will new tokens from other projects be added during the event uh, that can be used in this event? Absolutely yes. Uh, so we're getting prepared, uh, gearing up with the, with some new assets. Uh, so firstly, you guys will be able to use Astar tokens to uh, leverage uh, both the functionality of the platform and the Cube Last events and the rewards, uh, of course, uh, within the within the event. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, Beamer uh, by Moonbeam. Uh, interlays IBTC, so like inter, inter, inter BTC would be also available for staking and earning rewards on top of that. Um, parallel tokens. Um, we are working on integration with, ah, obviously, of course, DOTS that you, mm -hmm. I guess, already saw DOTS available on the platform. Then uh, EQ DOTS. X dots from from Jinchir. So we are opening up the bridge. Um, and uh, actually you guys can eventually transfer your X dot holdings to equilibrium and uh, use them on polka dots where it was initially supposed to be used. Um, so this thing uh, and uh, we also like integrating the multi-chain bridge and um, there will be like few assets from from Ethereum, Ethereum itself, uh, and USDC, and also obviously we are adding USDT as a native stablecoin, which is already um, kind of integrated on st statement. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Uh, let's let's move on. Um... Ah, sorry. Additional, additional, additional to that, I think worth mentioning C dots. I think this is really important. Sorry for missing that. So, if you guys uh, participated in the in crowd loan campaigns of any pair of chains, mm -hmm. uh, and you hold C dots, you would will be able to um, to 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 use it within our 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 platform. All right. Um, next one. Um, maybe you've covered this while well, we couldn't hear you, but how long does the EQ Blast bonus last? Is the EQ Plus bonus available to all members of the Equilibrium community? As for community members, yeah, we've covered that already. And uh, um, Max or someone else, could you please drop the link to a multiplier um, in the chat? But yeah, about the timings. Uh, how long does the uh, EQ Plus bonus last? Um, so EQ Blast bonus, uh, I mean, the... The, the the bonus itself would be lasting for during the the first wave of the campaign, as I said, uh, the first wave is lasting for four months. Uh, so a cube last bonus, which is available to everyone from the community who joined our socials, I mean Discord or following our Twitter or whatever, uh, fill out the application form, uh, which uh, we mentioned multiple times uh, during our today's AMA. So if you perform all these actions. You will be eligible for EQ Blast bonus, which uh, results in 1.5x multiplier on your APR during the campaign. And uh, yeah, so it will be lasting during the whole first wave uh, of, of EQ Blast. So you mentioned the wave. Uh, will there be another one when the first wave of EQ Blast ends? Um, so overall, we have the. If you if you guys have um, closely uh, considered our uh, token economy, you you probably can recall that we have ten percent allocation of the overall supply for liquidity farming. So obviously, since we're allocating just one point five percent of this ten percent, uh, there will be like another uh, eight point five percent to distribute, and obviously they will, this kind of other liquidity, actual liquidity will be distributed during the next um, next wave of uh, our liquidity farming campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Um, next one. Uh, what is the main uh, objective 
uh, equilibrium aims to reach and what TVL targets does the team uh, hope to achieve with EQ Blast? Uh, good question. So, uh, like, like in, in general, we are planning to become the real DeFi hub for Polkadot, which includes multiple DeFi use cases, uh, starting from our native decentralized stablecoin, which hopefully will um, become the native uh, decentralized stablecoin of the Polkadot ecosystem overall. Um, now, by the way, we're working on integration of EQD into multiple protocols, uh, multiple projects, uh, including pair chains on Polkadots and projects on um, EVM compatible environment like Moonbeam and uh, Astar. Uh, so basically, you can, uh, like, all this functionality uh, requires some liquidity and hopefully like we will become uh, as, a, as a DeFi hub with a bunch of different functions again from the stable coins to the money markets to the centralized exchange so we have we, we hope to become one of the most liquid DeFi protocols on Polkadot attracting uh, quite a lot of liquidity from, from users and specifically providing like use cases for the ecosystem assets um, uh, I already mentioned the, the the list of the initial um, ecosystem assets uh, to be added to equilibrium, the most liquid and the most uh, demanded ones. Uh, but uh, at the end of the day, we're planning to for more integrations and more assets to be added on our product line. And um, in terms of like the the numbers, like if to talk numbers, uh, the first wave, uh, what we are expecting to achieve is uh, at least uh, ten million worth initial liquidity, uh, $10 million. Uh, but obviously, like, it's, it's the sky is the limit, and uh, we're just kicking things off with um, with this number, and uh, hopefully uh, more liquidity to come in the future campaigns. Yeah, you guys know we dream big here. We dream big, we build big, so wish us luck. <laughs> right, um, let's let's move on to the next question. Uh, what is Equilibrium's strategy to get Latin American users interested in Equilibrium Blast? Alex, do you want me to take this, or are you going to cover it yourself? Uh, you can take this. Uh, just my my two cents here that we have pretty active Latin American community, and we have dedicated channels for that. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess Mary will uh, elaborate that in greater detail. Uh, yeah. Please take it over. The stage is yours. <laughs> so uh, you guys might have heard that Equilibrium is running an ambassador program to help promote the EQ Blast campaign in all parts of the world, actually, including Latin America. And uh, this is exactly our ambassadors that help Equilibrium in reaching out to, uh, well, in this case, uh, Latin American users and engaging with their communities. And the ambassadors efforts to um, translate materials, set up AMA sessions, and educate their respective communities uh, will be crucial in uh, getting Latin American users interested in EQ Blast campaign and all other campaigns that we might roll out. Um, by leveraging the ambassador program uh, and working closely with these local representatives, uh, we uh, can continue to expand uh, our reach and engage users in Latin America or, again, in any part of the world. And uh, with the local expertise and uh, knowledge, uh, the ambassadors can and are actually helping Equilibrium tailor its message to better resonate uh, with the Latin American community. And by the way, guys, you can still apply for uh, an ambassador position here at Equilibrium and help us promote the project to your respective communities and, of course, get some monthly rewards. And uh, guys, could you please help me drop a link to the Medium article and to registration and, uh, yeah, and everything. Thank you. Anything else, Alex? <laughs> but I think I'm No, I think it. that's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, okay. amazing. Thanks so much for coming. Sure, sure, sure. Um, will farming rewards be active separately? from EQ Blast, or are they tied together? Hmm. Um, so, sorry, say it again. Um, will farming rewards be active separately from EQ Blast, or are they tied together? 
Uh, so actually, EQ Blast rewards are the farming rewards. So like EQ Blast campaign is mm -hmm. a farming campaign. It's the it's the first wave of uh, liquidity farming. Uh, we call it this campaign EQ Blast just to distinguish it from the variety of mining campaigns happening in the ecosystem. Uh, so yeah, we're going full blast and uh, welcome to join um, and uh, enjoy quite significant rewards that we're putting out uh, uh, for this purpose. Yeah. yeah, and how can someone check if a blast bonus is active on their account? Uh, so just make sure that uh, you have joined the community. I mean, exactly. um, like join join Discord channel, following us on Twitter, and fill out the application form that mm -hmm. uh, our colleagues will drop to the chat. Okay, and uh, uh, can someone get? I guess. Go on. Yeah, sorry, sorry for interrupting. So I guess I guess uh, just additionally to in addition to the first the previous question. So if you guys. Uh, fill out the form. Uh, please expect email from us uh, right uh, in, on the start of the campaign. And um, yeah, if you receive the email that you you are guaranteed to have the EQ Blast bonus uh, during the campaign, then okay. And um, is it possible to get Blast bonus on multiple accounts? Uh, yes, it's possible. Why not? Mm, sounds good. I mean, I mean, the bonus doesn't mean that we are giving out free money. Uh, we're just providing we're not. like <laughs> extra the, the the multiplier. No, eventually yes, but uh, this this kind of rewards will be accounted on top of the funds that you put into the platform, right? So you need to um, basically you, you need to deposit something from these accounts into our liquidity pools, and then. You get 1.5x multiplier on your APR, which is considered as a uh, as a Q blast bonus. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a shame we're not giving out free money. How come? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean free free money can be given just in some very controversial projects. You know, I think uh, we are not uh, uh, the one like that. Yeah, we're that boring. Okay. Um, can I also stake my farming rewards or earn additional APR? Uh, can you what, sorry? Auto stake my farming rewards. Auto stake your mm -hmm. rewards. Or earn additional APR. Um, so, n no, right now we don't have this functionality. Do we have any plans? I need to double check with the dev team. All right. All right. Uh, guys, please remind us <laughs> to double check with the dev team. Um, all right. But, but the thing, yeah. but the thing, just like maybe one, mm -hmm. one remark here. So, um, like, as I mentioned, the awards will be uh, distributed to your accounts, like, on the uh, lockup basis. So there will be, like, some cliffs applied. Uh, but, uh, and, like, until the actual distribution happens, you will have the ability to participate in the governance of um, uh, of, of equilibrium. So this is this is a very important feature of, of that. So you will actually have uh, your EQ as we receive that as rewards locked in the governance. And actually, these EQs also considered as your stake, which help you to get a multiplier. Right, so it's not like the direct staking of a queue for getting rewards, but it's like indirect staking, I would say. So in this sense, you might think of that as uh, as, a, as a you know kind of staking, but uh, um, like it, it will help you with the multipliers, right? Because these rewards mm -hmm. will be locked in the governance, and uh, actually you will you will you will have the multiply according to your to to your period of unlock. Um, and uh, simultaneously, you can you can participate in the governance process, right? So you can vote with these rewards unless you don't have this EQs on your wallet. So it's okay. Every time you mention governance and voting, my heart skips a bit after <laughs> after what happened in January. But I guess I'm just yeah, you know, hopeful, hopefully in a good <laughs> <traumatized>. way. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, do you have any idea for launching of flexible staking of EQ because most of the exchanges were providing? Flexible staking. Wow, this is, sounds like magic. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> Guys, anyone? Could you maybe elaborate? But let's let's noodle on it. What are your thoughts on flexible staking? Especially uh, as mm. the the person who asked this mentioned, uh, most of the exchanges were providing something like this. So I guess I guess the guys are referring to flexible staking, like it's rolled out on KuCoin or something. Yeah. So when you um, when you basically can unstake. Yeah, unstake at any time. Uh, yeah, I guess in, 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 instantly, right? Mm -hmm. Um. So actually, like, if you are not staking your rewards, uh, like, if you are not staking your EQ tokens, committing to a certain period of lockup, like, let's say one, two, three, whatever, to up to twenty-four months to get your um, APR multiply according to uh, uh, the terms of the campaign. You can actually unstake it at any at any time. So if you are not you are you are not committing to like specific period, you feel free to go to at any time. I hope this answered your question, whoever whoever asked this. Okay, thank you so much. Um, we have actually a compliment. <laughs> I'm just glad to hear from you all, Marie, Alex. Respect to both of you. Respect to and all our love to whoever wrote this. We actually love and really appreciate all our community members. So, guys, thank you so much for your support. Okay. Um, so, so yes. Um, we have uh, two more questions. Um, unless there's something something else in the chat. So, guys, feel free to drop your questions here. And we'll cover them uh, also. Um, could we also stake the locked EQ that's already possible with uh, Aster? Well, I think we covered that, no? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, then the last one. Um, we couldn't hear you at first. Yeah. Maybe you mentioned that already. What about X dot staking? Uh, yeah, let me reiterate that. Uh, so we are opening up the bridge, um, which will help you to transfer your X dot from Jinshir to Equilibrium. And uh, this is where X dot is supposed to be used in the most. So basically, you, you can transfer your X dot holdings to Equilibrium and use it in our liquidity pool. So yes, the answer is yes, we'll be accepting XDOT for staking. Fantastic. Um, this is all the questions I have in my form. Uh, someone's writing in the chat. Ooh, it's our actually Latin American moderator, Roberto. Hi. Um, let's, let's wait for him. But yeah, guys, so far we've covered um, uh, the numbers, the security, and uh, the overall mechanics. If you have any more questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to uh, shoot them right at us. Yeah, we got a question. Is it possible some kind of P2P market in equilibrium for EQD and USD in real life? Uh, apologies, I could barely hear you. Can I repeat once again? Um, yeah. Is it possible to have some kind of P2P market in equilibrium for EQD and USD in real life? P2P markets in real life. Okay. So if you guys are referring to the stable stable swap pools, then yes, we are obviously, since we have this development in place, we are launching our own, um, own stable pools stable swap pools. Uh, so on the start, we have, we will have two of them, uh, EQD to USDT, uh, where you can use EQD and native with USDT from the statement. And uh, another pool will be EQD 
uh, against USDC. USDC will be actually um, available from from the our multi-chain uh, integration. So through through the bridge uh, bridge from from Ethereum. Mm-hmm. Uh, Have I addressed the yeah. question, or I I, I I understood this a little bit differently than what actually was the the guy meaning? Well, I hope. I hope this covers it. Uh, Roberto, could you please um, give us some feedback? Uh, while we wait for um, for him to write his answer, uh, do you, Alex, have a little bit more time? Because uh, I still have a few questions that have been submitted earlier, but I've marked them as, you know, a no-go for today's session because they're not really related to EQ Blast. Okay, no problem. Sure, I guess we have at least uh, another like ten, 10 minutes, minutes or so. Okay, uh, all right. One more question from the chat, and we'll we will move there. Um, are you planning to be releasing short video guides on how to use all the features in this event? Some earning opportunities consist of several steps and may not be clear to everyone. Um, the answer is yes. We will be releasing uh, video guides and tutorials, and we will ask our ambassadors uh, to help us translate them uh, into um, their languages and spread uh, the videos within their communities so that everyone could understand how uh, how things work, basically. So, yeah, the answer is yes. Um, all right. Um, I really love this question. Um, is there real potential for EQD to be listed outside of Polkadot? Uh, sorry, to be used outside of Polkadot. Um, so yeah, I mean, obviously there should be some use cases because EQD is a um, decentralized stablecoin, which is um, uh, which is collateralized uh, with using multiple types of collateral. So it's essentially a cross-chain stablecoin with the cross-chain collateral, mm -hmm. uh, meaning that it should be transferable, like actually from, from Polkadot, from .sum ecosystem to other ecosystems. Uh, and uh, yeah, so we're, we're expecting to work out more use cases. Uh, right now we are, we have narrowed our our focus to use cases on in the dot sum ecosystem and uh, actually you know to establish EQD as a as a as a as, a, as, a, as an ecosystem stable coin integrated into uh, the most of peer chain projects and uh, the most of uh, DeFi products in, in dot summer. Uh, so after that, we have certain plans of expanding beyond the boundaries of Dot Sama. Uh, but uh, firstly, again, let's start with just simple deployments of EQD within within Dot Sama and uh, getting the initial the initial liquidity and initial circulating supply of them. Mm -hmm. And you have just answered my second question. <laughs> Thank you for that. All right, nice. guys. Uh, if we do not have any additional questions, then I think let's uh, Alex go do his m amazing, marvelous things. And uh, thank you, Alex, for providing us with uh, an in-depth look into the EQ Blast liquidity mining campaign. And we appreciate the time and, and the effort you took to answer uh, all these questions. And uh, to our dear community members, thank you for attending this event. And uh, we hope it's been informative and useful to you too, and uh, that helped you better understand the EQ Blast campaign. And uh, if you have any further questions or feedback, please feel free to reach out to us, slide into my DMs, use Telegram, Twitter, uh, whatever means of, um, of communication you prefer. Uh, because we value your opinions and suggestions, and we're always looking for ways to improve our communication and products and, and everything. Um, once again, thank you for joining us today. I'll see you guys in chats and DMs, and Alex, I'll see you Monday. <laughs> uh, please keep an eye on our Twitter and follow yeah, us if you haven't done so for some reason. 
Um, your invitation to the next community call will be published there shortly. And uh, yeah, the questions that didn't make the cut for today's AMA uh, will be answered there. Hope to see you guys there and uh, have a good day. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much for following us so closely and uh, hopefully to see you on our next community call. And please do participate in our um, liquidity farming campaign if you're considering it as uh, uh, your kind of next point of destination. So, yeah, thanks very much. Pleasure to be here and uh, to soon. Take it easy. Thanks, Alex. Bye. Bye, guys.